watch live at alancockshow.com. Cavaliers win big here at home last night. 113-85 to was the final over the Sixers. Uh, they are off tonight. They will stay at home and play the Orlando Magic tomorrow night. 7.30 is the tip-off here on MMS and on the iHeartRadio app. If you listen to us from out of state on the app, tell me where. I like to know where people are doing that. I like when people update me when they relocate. Margo listens to us in Peterstown, West Virginia. Uh, brand new bureau chief, Ken in Vincennes, Indiana. Greg is up in Tomogamy, Ontario. Uh, Danny is a viewer. He watches the live stream in Fair Play, Colorado. And uh, Graham is one of our bureau chiefs in D.C. Oh, Danny boy. The Pipes. The Pipes. The, the I watched pipe. that episode of um, Parks and Schitt's Rick. Creek the other oh, day. yeah. <laughs> I don't recall. Uh, we watched Schitt's Creek so long ago that I don't recall that particular episode. So it's when Bob, the mechanic guy, it, his brother-in-law dies or something like okay. that. And Johnny's given an awkward speech, and then uh, Moira just stands up and starts singing, Oh, Johnny Boy. Danny Boy. Danny Boy. Yeah. Danny Boy, yeah. Mm. Pretty funny. Alan, I think your show is very good. I listen to it every night to put me to sleep. You are definitely a very monotone person. I sleep so good because of you. Thank you for all that you do. Hmm. Boy, what is he talking about? That is creepy. That's Was he doing a voice? Yeah. No, that's how he sounds. That's how he sounds? Yeah. He needs well, more I sleep. I don't know what he means. It was actually me, Carly. But, I listen to the podcast to sleep. But to accuse me of being monotone. Yeah, monotone. I don't get it. I don't agree. And the inflection in your voice. Is he doing a voice or is that his voice? I don't know. It makes me want to cough when I do that, though. Man, I got hiccups. I think your show is very good. I listen to it every night to put me to sleep. You are definitely a very monotone person. I sleep so good because of you. Thank you for all that you do. Hmm. I think he's trying to throw shade, as they say. Yeah, I got that. Yeah. Hmm. You got the hiccups. I had the hiccups yesterday on my way back from that Sheets appearance, and man, I had them for like 40 minutes, and it was enraging. You don't have a way that you get rid of them? Well, I was driving, so I couldn't have have a beverage with with me or anything, so... I was just trying to do the hold your breath thing. It wasn't working. So just every, and it wasn't like fast hiccups. It was a slow hiccup. Like every minute I'd have one hiccup. So I'd be like, oh, they're gone. And then, nope, they're not gone. Man, I hate the hiccups. Hmm. I don't know if, like, if there's like a, if I never got the hiccups again, but it meant you had to cut off one of my toes, cut off a toe. Really? Yeah. Well, now you just alienated the people in our audience who love hiccups, Bill. So I think thanks very a lot. Funny. Hiccups are one of the cutest things in the world to me. I love hiccups. Yeah, if a mouse has them, if anyone not if has a them. person has them. Imagine, cute? Not, yeah, they're no, so cute. When other they're people, like, when other annoying. people have them, when other people have them, it's fine. Adorable. When I have them, I want to die. I think hiccups are the great equalizer because everybody gets them. Think about it. A mob boss hiccups. Cut his head off. That's hilarious. You don't know that anybody, everybody gets hiccups. There Is there has to anyone be. who's never had a hiccup? I don't know. I don't know about that. But I would think the law of averages would say that possibly there's someone who's never had hiccups. No, because babies get them all the time. That would mean that they never had them as a baby? Well, I've, 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 a baby. I'm not privy to what every single baby ever born has done. Most but... babies have hiccups. I'm the expert. <laughs> uh-huh. We're gonna, do, we're gonna we're gonna do a new segment called "Overly Confident Mare." <laughs> yeah, when she's, yeah, it's just you know, whenever she's. It's speaks. called mare explaining. But yeah. I'm the one that everybody calls a know-it-all. People get mad at me because I actually know stuff. You. Yes, but my claims are outrageous. That there's no one that's <laughs> never had yes hiccups. All insurance. You might companies be right. Yeah. Are not real. They're not businesses. They're not, They're not, businesses. not real. No one works there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think hiccups are so cute, and they make me giggle every time someone nope. has them. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't do you even, feel when you I, have them? I don't even want them long enough for somebody to go, oh, because nobody's going to go, that's so cute, like I'm 10. I love it. I will. <laughs> you love having hiccups. 
I don't. So when I get hiccups, mine are very deep. They're like big hiccups. And they're spaced out long enough that you think that they're gone. So it'll be like. Well, that's what I was going through. And yeah. it's annoying. It'll be like one a minute for 15 minutes. But they're like. <laughs> like they're, they're real big. No, I'll get like the cannonball to the sternum hiccups. Yeah. And I want them gone immediately because they hurt and they're very annoying. Yeah. And then because the, the way I get rid of them is to hold my breath while I'm drinking water. And if it doesn't work right away. I hate it even more because now I'm just waterlogged and trying to get rid of goddamn hiccups. Got to drink. Very annoying. Drink out of the cup backwards. That's what my girlfriend does. Everybody's got their own way of doing it, and that's fine. But what works for me is not that shooting yourself in the chest. Backwards. Why would drinking backwards out of a cup or on the far side of the cup concentrate so much? It has worked every time I've ever done. Yeah. That sounds psychosomatic. It, yeah, well, I think that's what it is. You're just you're just focusing your body on something else, and it forgets to. But why up. not focus and drink from the near lip of the cup like you normally would? You know how to do that. You not you got to trick your brain into something new. Hmm. Alan, my wife doesn't have hiccups. She has mostly burps. Is that cute, Mary? Sure. Burps. Yeah. Someone suggests that the guy on that talkback message. Uh, is speaking out of their larynx. Like yeah, no, yeah. I thought about that too, but it didn't sound like that to me. I mean, those people, are there's more of a rasp or a yeah. wheeze, whereas this person sounded more like they were doing kind of a cookie monster thing. Alan, I think your show is very good. I listen to it more every night to monster. put me to sleep. Yeah, that doesn't sound like, uh, what do I know? Ask Mary, she'll tell you what that guy's doing. Yeah, I already did. He's talking like this. <laughs> yeah. Alan, hiccups are the worst. I hope Mary gets them forever. Well, that took a weird turn. Not forever. Uh, it took a weird turn. That would be annoying. I couldn't do my job. Forever. <laughs> uh, someone else messaged me. I am for sure cut off a toe team bill and never want them again. So there's more people that would cut off a toe just to never have hiccups again. I like my toes. They make me money. Which toe? Mm, I'll take, that can, that can uh, really... You can take off a big toe. I don't no, care. No, that's big your balance. Toe. You need big toes for balance. Pinky toe, mm. too. So one of the middle ones, then. No, I'm, I'm saying that's how serious but I am But you about. get hiccups so infrequently that why would you cut off a toe? I and, wouldn't. I don't want to mess up my gait. Right. I, you got a good I, gait. I got a certain way of walking. I'm walking you know, you, here. We can't tell by the way you walk. Yes. You're a woman. That's right. Is that how it goes? I can't remember. The lyrics. To the next and part I of that song. Tell by the way you walk, you're walking. It's just oh, man. staying alive yeah. was what he was alluding yeah, to. Yeah, that's what it was. I was reading a thing that uh, I wanted to tell Pound Cake. I was reading an article with a doctor in the Washington Post. He said, do not sit on the toilet on your phone for a long time. Mm. It's bad for you. I'm sure it probably is. What's wrong? Prolonged periods of time. You Eat could get prolapsed. You could get for prolapsed periods of time. Mm-hmm. You could get hemorrhoids. Do you have hemorrhoids? I don't think so. Okay. I think I, I think you would know. I, was, I think I would you know. You would know, yes. <laughs> I feel like you would know. Yep. If you had some speed bumps back there, you would know what was going on. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think so. All right. And what else? He's like, no longer than 10 minutes. Ooh. That's why I'm telling you. Problem. You're the guy that's sitting there till your legs fall asleep. <laughs> my my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> my So my roommate last night, it's so funny you bring this up, because I was in the bathroom probably for an hour. And An I, hour <laughs> on the toilet. No, 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 listen. All right. I was on, I was in the bathroom for probably about an hour, and I come out, and I remember he was he was like, God damn. He was like, Were you on the toilet that whole time? I said half. I was like, It was half and half. I was on the toilet, and then I took a shower. <laughs> and he was like, Jesus. He was like, But he would have heard you take a shower. It, it, I could have pooped with the water running. Pooped with the oh, like it, okay, warming up the shower. Oh, okay. But he was like, Jesus, because I, I start I think I pooped first. Um, right. But so you were on the toilet for a half an hour. Probably about on that, your yeah. phone. Yep, scrolling. Pro- yep, probably about well, that. Well, don't do that. After this doctor my, says don't do that. After my last plop. Yeah. Uh, well, I have to work on it because li- that's why I don't take quick poops. I, I envy those people who get that's one of the reasons why I don't poop at work. Not besides the fact that it's embarrassing. People can just go so quick. Like I have to prep to poop. Like it's just like. All right, get my mind right. You know, you got to prepare so that the pre-poop period is like three minutes. Then the actual poop period's going to be at least 15 to 17 minutes. And then post-poop. But your, but your body kind of tells you. You know, like little kids have to learn what the signals are. You know, little kids go through that thing where they go, I just pooped. Because they're not kind of hip to when your body is telling you something's coming down the road. Mm-hmm. 
by the time you're an adult, you know when these things are going to happen. I got sure bo- we do. I got body. <laughs> <laughs> I, Theoretically, we do. <laughs> when I go poop, I feel like I have body hiccups because it's just like, boop. <laughs> And then, and it, that it, hasn't it, changed with your that hasn't changed with your improved diet over this trying to lose weight. Oh no, it has. It okay, de- it definitely has. Um, but then you're still sitting there on your phone. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to change. Listen, my I weight. guess the flip side of the coin is you've been doing this a long time. If you don't have hemorrhoids now, I've, I've, maybe you're all right. Maybe you've threaded the needle. I don't think I've ever had a hemorrhoid. What it, I haven't either, but I hear they're. I have, terrible. and they are not. Awesome. Terrible. What, I'd rather have hiccups. When Bobby <laughs> Kelly was here last time, he was talking about them. Yeah. What exactly is it? What is it? It's just it's like a. It's like a, when you bump inside your push too hard, and it's a. What is it exactly? It's like a. It's a. It's a. A stinky little balloon is the way oh, they put God. it. Oh God! It stinks. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I mean, mean, it's, it's your on butt. your bee hole. Yeah, but I mean, it, doesn't it doesn't have stink to stink. No, no, it's just oh, they're just swollen veins. Yeah. Oh. God, is I it just it from was... pushing too hard? I think so. Yeah, I don't Jesus do that. I'm not. Tell nice. me why I... I swear I thought hemorrhoids were your butthole coming out. No, that's that's prolapse. a prolapse. Okay, yeah. so hemorrhoids are b- busted veins, swollen Same veins, veins, similar. To, they're like varicose veins in your corn shoot. Gross. Mm-hmm. Uh, but see, uh, even but if I'm, I'm lucky on... that because sometimes you have to get them like surgically removed or like. If it's a vein, corrected. though, how do you get it removed? I don't know. Don't you need Mine... that? Like cauterize it or something, yeah. or you know. But if I'm on the you toilet, you need all your veins. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm gonna start a bill uh, list from that one. <laughs> you know, you don't need all your veins. But even That's though, true. Even though you're on the toilet the whole time, doesn't mean you're actively pushing. I'm not actively pushing. But right. that's the issue, too. Peristalsis. You're not supposed to sit there and just have gravity exerting itself on your body. Again, I'm just letting you know I was reading this thing, and it made me think of you, obviously, because you're famously on your phone for a long period of time. I'm the other guy who gets in, goes Same. out. I wait till it's ready to come there out. There have been times where I'm I touching tr- cloth. I get yep, right in exact, there. In and out, 30 yep, seconds. Yeah, turtle head poking out. I get in, take care of business. I'm back living my life. There have been times where I've tried to get up off the toilet. I'm like, oh, my gosh, do I have legs? I forgot I had legs. <laughs> this is what it's like to have She legs. falls over. Pins and needles. <laughs> well, I understand that. But you shouldn't do that. Sometimes I have to add a bitch on Twitter, and it takes time. I got to get, you know, my stuff together. Wow, you're still adding people on Twitter. I'm like <laughs> I'm like one short and curly away from deleting Twitter altogether. Same. You're still adding people on it. I log in every day to see what Elon's doing, and then I— Not even that. It's just there's no— Judge anymore. It's just yeah, you, know, you do curate your own thing, but still, it's like, who cares? What? I'm not. Also, I like it's not keeping, making me money. I'm not doing any. You know, I'll tweet, but who cares? I like keeping it for all the hardcore videos. Like Brian saw a video on Instagram the other day that blew his mind. It was like some guy getting his leg run over in a steamroller or something like that. He's like, how is this on the internet? I was like, bro, wait till you see what's on Twitter. <laughs> like, I feel like that's the source for unedited footage. I guess if you else. follow those accounts, I don't ever see stuff. No, like, like that. news stuff. Like when there's a shooting or whatever, they'll yeah, but they're post not gonna... the video on Twitter of people getting shot. Yeah, but it's all blurred out. Not, not on no, Twitter. not Twitter. on Twitter. Twitter doesn't edit stuff like that. But yeah. I don't see those things. I follow up mostly news accounts. Well, the news account will blur it, but if you find someone that someone was- Someone who was there. Like the raw footage. Yeah. Oh, you can find they don't, like, What I'm saying is on yeah. Twitter, they don't take that stuff down. No, I understand. They'll take that kind of stuff down on Instagram. So if I need to see like some raw video of some weird stuff going down- I see. Twitter's a place Rotten. for Rotten.com or yeah, something. Yeah, for real. All right. No, I don't see a lot of that. But it just makes you- There's something about it. Where it just makes you, it, even if you're a cool person on Twitter, everybody else, you can start to believe that everybody else are maniacs and psychos. Yeah. And that's not the case. I mean, the law of averages will tell you that's not the case. But it's, you know, people are, it always makes me laugh. I always go back to that video of like the earliest days of the internet when that guy who was helping develop the World Wide Web is like, People are going to be much nicer when they're anonymous. You know, they said that the because the Internet will democratize communication, that it was the anonymity that somehow would make people nicer when a five year old would know that's not going to be the case. That's why these nerds who are developing these amazing things but have no interpersonal skills. It didn't even occur to them. That being anonymous would allow people to be their worst selves. Just be nightmare humans. Yeah. Alan, tell Mary that all that believe stuff means Christmas magic. 
like the movie Elf. That's what Brian said. Christmas yeah. magic, Santa, that kind of stuff. Yeah. I was like, no, I, but it's still it's like Jesus-y if you're programmed in Jesus, then you go, yeah. ah, that's Jesusy. But yeah, I mean, it's also supposed to be about Jesus. You know, Christmas is. Yeah. That's what I hear anyway. Christmas. My mom still signs Christmas cards with Christ capitalized. My mom doesn't care for it if I write X M A S. Yeah. yeah. My mom will capitalize Christmas. <laughs> oh, the whole word Christ. Christ in Christmas. And lowercase M A S. Yes. Really? Capitalize Christ M A S small. Does she know he was actually born in June or no? Nope. Doesn't go. Okay. Um, listen, the bottom line is that um, I used to do that just to get under people's skin, but I'm more mature now. Hmm. And if that's important to them, then it's important to me. Right. And why would you want to get under someone's skin by doing something stupid? <laughs> don't Plus. don't so do it. I'll do it later. I guess I never really. When I get to Terry the Goat's week thirteen mm-hmm. picks later on. Well, we're all, everybody's doing their own version of it this week. I'm not. I'm the host. Well, not you, but I'm, I don't I'm do driving it. the bus. You got Mary doesn't want to do it. I want to be a passenger on the bus. You can yeah, we it. are passengers on the bus, but we all contribute to no. what the bus I'm sleeping. drivers. All I'm right. sleeping in the second row. <laughs> you want to just go home? <laughs> she sprawled across the whole seat. Hmm. You want to see some good toenails on the commercial break? I absolutely do not. <laughs> it's the last thing I want to see. Good toenails, I have a feeling he doesn't mean that literally. No. Want to see some good toenails. Good crunchy like ones. Yep. Anybody see Kanye with Alex Jones, by the way? Oh, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> he is out of his mind. <laughs> He's sitting there in that stupid Mask. black hood over his head. So it's totally good. It's that Nazi kid, that Nick Fuentes, and Alex Jones, and Kanye. Did anybody see this? No. Bill, oh, I saw it. I yeah. saw it. So and I read it. I saw the clip on uh, the shade Net- Yahoo, which is just... Ugh. Man, I really like Kanye's music. He's really making it hard. And if he would come back and start making some, but I don't know how he comes back from this as an artist. I love all day. I mean, he'll have people that will want to work with him. They're just not the people that he had envisioned wanting to work with him. He's going to have, like, stormfront hardcore punk bands wanting to work with him now. I mean, the, after this Alex Jones interview, I think there's going to be people or, like, business, you know, like Spotify, maybe iHeartRadio, Pulling his music no, off of their platforms. Don't do it. He's a black man. He's a rich black man. He's misunderstood. Do you know what he was saying? Yeah. Yes, you I know, know what he was you saying. You know what an awful life rich people have. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler also. The Jew I love everyone, and Jewish people are not gonna tell me you can love um you know, us, and you can love what we're doing to you with the contracts, and you can love what we're, you know, what we're pushing with the pornography. But this guy that invented highways, invented the very microphone that I use as a musician, you can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good, and I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. (laughs) Normally, people would say even Hitler. No, especially. Especially Hitler. Especially. What is this invented highways and microphones, by the way? he did that, I was shook. No. No. Hitler, Hitler, I think he's talking about, there's a company called Neumann, who to this day make the, some of the best microphones out there. They're very expensive. They're awesome. But back in the day, uh, when Hitler was given those speeches and blah, 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 uh, there was a microphone that Neumann made that they called the Hitler bottle just because it looked very, very strange. But they didn't make it for Hitler. It might surprise Kanye to know that the Neumann microphone was started by a guy named Neumann, not Adolf Hitler. So inventing microphones and highways, I mean, the ancient cultures of somewhere probably invented highways, right? Okay, but, okay. I mean, he's probably talking about the Audubon, but that was developed before Hitler. Like the Audubon, Hitler didn't create the Audubon. So, again... It's going to shock some people to know Kanye has no idea what he's talking about or what's going on. But I feel like people are just watching out because no one stop says, going to bat for Kanye. I'm not going to bat for Kanye West. I'm I'm saying these people are are looking to be upset because no one cares about what people. 
Everyone. Anyone who keeps everyone's people, looking to be upset no, listen, at a guy who's going pro Nazi. No, no, no. I'm not. Ta- this is not about Kanye West. I'm talking about Alex Jones. Like Alex oh. Jones has already been banned off of YouTube, all of the streaming platforms. So people have to actively go to his website, copy or like photo, or screenshot or whatever he is, whatever guess he has on, and then post that. Yeah, it so, makes a run. So if we are ignoring Alex Jones. Thus, we ignore Kanye. So I don't understand. Like, well, he's not his new co-host. I mean, he put these dudes on and, but, but because this, it, who else is going to go on? I, I mean, just didn't even know how they found it because I was like, why is because Alex people, Jones people on still pay attention to still it. pay attention to it. There's people that report on things like this, so they sit and watch this stupid you show. Keep your friends week. close yeah. and your enemies closer. Ugh. Yeah, it's weird, though. Eh. Oh, well. And none of his songs are. Maybe yes, Alex. Are, good. Maybe <laughs> Alex Jones is going to cut him in. You know, he got to cough up two hundred k a month to Kim now. Maybe he's going to cut him in on some of them supplements. Maybe. <laughs> I will cut you in on super mega force fish oil suppositories Kanye's, or whatever he does. Kanye's probably going to do a theme song for Alex Jones's intro. Oh God. <laughs> On sight. Seventeen seventy six. Whoopie <laughs> dee scoop. Scoop dee dee whoop. Whoop de scoop de poop. Yep. Pretty good. 1776. I got to take a break. If you want to text for anything, 35192. Uh, you can watch if you like at alancockshow.com and listen anywhere on the iHeartRadio app. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS.